Welcome to the complete character modeling course with short name is CCM so I be believe you already watched the promo where I explain in details that how the course is made but shortly we have like three levels in the first level we will be modeling a base mesh then adding some simple texture to it and rigging it and in the next level we will be creating a complete character which we will be having some face and some advanced features and then we will be texture it in texturing it in blender and in the third level we will be creating a full advanced character with some sculpting and then the topology and all doing the advanced stuff and at the end we will be texturing it in some transparent so this course will help you to become a character a complete character So it's level 1 and we are going to create a base mesh but before that I want to do some customization in my interface so I can work easily. So for that but first let's as A with select all and delete all the stuff and then go to the edit preference and search for an add-on go to the add-on first and search for an add-on name as pi. And then just turn on this thing and we have to just turn off all of this stuff so I press the left key and just I'm like going down and just turn on this one and the X one and then go to the key map and here we have to turn on the tab for the pi menu and go to the system and just turn this uh, undo history to like 256 so now we can go back and do undo steps like for 256 times so that's the things that we need to do other than that if you if you're using an Nvidia graphics card then you can turn go to here and turn on the code and also turn on turning on the CPU will be a little boosting your performance if not then uh, if you're using an AMD graphics card then you can go with the optics okay so currently I have an Nvidia I'm just turning on this thing now save preference and also you can save it from here so, and let's close it now. So I will provide this character in the link in the description so you can download it from that and also I will be uploading all the uh, resources file all the final output uh, blender file of this course so the link is in the description so join that so I'm just uh, I just move it toward the down as you can see all these screenshot uh, all these uh, screen keys here so I have to just move it with G Y a little back like this and just make sure that uh, with G you have to just make it in the center just like roughly like this after that we can make it exactly in center so here is the first rule which is always make your character in center so this, this is the center so we have to always make character in center center so this can be helped in the upcoming uh, upcoming part of continuing this model okay so i go to the front view again and i just roughly set this so now i have to go to the top view with uh, seven with number 7 and just shift D to duplicate this thing move it here and rotate it with 90 degree and just enter that so now we have also to do the side one but if I go to the 3 and the side view as you can see my character image is kind of like flipped uh, my, my character need to look to the front but it's actually like looking to the backward so my image has been like flipped so I can flip this thing again so for flipping anything in blender you can just simply use this formula or trick so I have to just scale it with S and then the direction that you want to flip your image so in my case it's y and then minus one so if you put a minus one in the scale of any object in any direction that will be flipped in that direction so that's the trick now if i see it from the sides it's actually fine and it's in the center which is fine okay the next thing we have to do is to make sure that our character is exactly in the center our reference reference is exactly in the center so for measuring that we have a unit uh, we, have, we will be like making a fake unit to define that so I'm just uh, making shift a and add a Q and with this we can just measure our character so I'm going to the front view going to the edit mode and control R and adding a loop in the center so uh, every time when you add a loop and just press right click so it could go to the default and in the default it's like the center of our queue that's pretty good now if I go to the uh, brow thing so as you can see this will be it's because uh, it's because I turn on the pie menu so because of that I'm getting like this menu so I will be just Z and then going to the wireframe and then just turn uh, making this one towards the up direction a little and making it scale out so it's like this so now we can simply what we can do is we can make this uh, reference exactly in the center so as you can see we have to simply just move it a little more to the left side and it's perfect and same it is from this for the side view we have to just add another loop so control r add a loop and here as you can see uh, our character can't be exactly in the center all all the character like this because human figure is like different uh, it's like uh, this thing a little cross a little curve so all we have to do is to make sure that 
this area is in the center so if, if, if it's in the center then it's fine and one more things that we need to do is to just uh, hide this thing with edge edge and first make this one exactly toward the y direction so it's like uh, exactly on the grid on the floor looks like this and now alt and edge to unhide these two references and now go into the front view and make sure that your character fits on it so i will be just selecting the, these and making it downward moving it downward and now these are exactly fine and this is exactly what we need to do okay so this is how you can set up your reference in blender and you can do the exact these things to make your character in, exactly in the center so the next step is uh, we have to start our character from a mesh so we can use different meshes like some people started from a plane some people from the cube from a circle from a spare from a cylinder and all of these uh, base meshes so here is the question that many people get confused that from which mesh we have to start our character so it's pretty much simple uh, you can uh, start from any shape that you want but some people like all this starting from a cube so they have the expertise to starting from a cube but some people do it from like spare and cylinder so that's like uh, the more you get experience in an object then you can use that but in this case i'm just using a cylinder because it helped me to get uh, some exact values and i can do some exact figures and i can uh, easily continue this one so i also suggest that you also start from from a cylinder because it will help you to continue our character very easily so here uh, as you can see it's pretty much high poly so i just click on the add cylinder and now we have to just decrease this 32 value into 10 because it's it was like pretty much uh, high poly and there was a lot of faces and edges uh, going around there so i just decrease it to 10 and uh, the reason i'm doing 10 is there is like a uh, very good reason for it it's like when i go to the side view by pressing three so i can if i select this loop uh, this face it actually is in the exact center so this is how like and uh, i can then extrude my uh, arms and my hands so yeah these things really help in the future so i would suggest to always put a 10 value so you can continue this thing easy uh, and the other reason I'm doing like uh, making it a little locally because uh, the second rule here is comes the second rule that always start from a low. So like as low you have the vertices and the faces and the polygons it's easy to handle your character shape. So you always start from a low and now as, as you can see we have this kind of low. Okay so now we have to just like scale this thing and move it toward up. So just select this thing, scale it down, scale it with Z, S and Z and just move it a little more up, something like this. So it have to be like uh, touching this shoulder and down here it, it's like this place. But yeah, we can do something more that we can go to the vertex, select all these vertex with just dragging it and then scaling it a little out. So we can just simply like match it with the reference like this. Okay, so the next step is to uh, go to the edit mode with tab, then going to the face selection select these two faces and X to delete these faces okay and the next thing we have to do is to make it mirror so we have to just select the left side half and X to delete that and then going here right uh, going to the modifier add a mirror modifier and also like um, when you move this thing around here it just actually split this thing so we don't need it we have to turn on the clipping so now it don't split like that okay so the next thing is to make the big shapes okay so don't focus that it's not, not matched from here and like from these all areas just focus on the big shapes and now we have to make uh, the hand so I will just uh, add a loop here like this okay so now we can go from the side and we can select this face and we can actually extrude this thing okay so you can delete the faces or you can extrude it as it is so I will like uh, extruding it as, it as it is so it's like E extrude and it's like this okay so here you can do two things that you can match it with the reference exactly like that but as you can uh, you can do another thing that you can make it in the t pose so if you do it in the t pose it will be much better because uh, a character with t pose can be rigged easily and can be uh, after that like we can get some less uh, issues and we can handle the great 
really easy so i would just to do it in the like exact pose so i just did it like something like this so we have to just uh, be a little imaginative with this thing because we have to do the arm shape and all the things without like exactly matching it with the reference but it's good like uh, you will also learn how the anatomy of these places and the proportions is going so this is i think a good thing you can do this thing okay so i just extruded it like this now i have to just add one more loop here because it's like quite boxy now so i will add a loop here and also i don't need these two faces so i delete that so now from the side view go to the vertex selection select these two vertex and these two vertex and scale it with the y direction s y and something like this okay so this is good but also we have to just match this thing from this side so i'm just like uh, moving this to this thing toward the y direction g y and deselecting it g y something like this and now uh, exactly we have to do it from this side so just simply like this and also you can select this hole and just move it something like this this one and okay so that's i think it now we have to go to front view and just make this thing i think we have to just uh, make this thing a little up something like this so it's like not quite lengthy in that direction okay the next thing is right click and make it shade smooth so you get a little smoother view and you get a little motivation to work further so we can just select all of these e extrude and just move it toward the up direction something like this would be fine and seeing it from the top view moving this vertex here this vertex here and like doing some adjustment quickly these things can help so i'm just like making a circle shape kind of like circle shape something like this okay so again select all e extrude in one more time with up direction but we have to just make this one make it move it a little here and this one here so now it's uh, good from this side and from this side we have to just select this one rotate it a little so like it goes with the flow we have to always like make our topology uh, make our mesh toward the flow and this thing should be here on the top okay so this is complete from this side now we have to move on to this side so adding just a loop here moving it a little up and just moving it toward the x direction to match it with the reference also we have to make sure that it's work from the side view as well okay so in this uh in the any 3d modeling we have to just like uh, if you're just uh, working from the one side don't work from one side we have to just look it towards from all the sides so we can so it's like uh, if, you, if you just work on the front side and at the end you uh, look from the right side it just uh, confuse you a lot and then it's hard to uh, fix it so every two little steps like doing something a little from the front we have to just uh, quickly come up to the side direction and do that adjustment there okay so now moving toward this direction one more extrude here and we have to just select the front two vertex going to the side view extrude it one time two three four and on the fifth we have to join fill it with this one so just selecting these two and then f to fill it going to the front view select all these move it toward this direction select all this move it toward the front uh, up, up a little and just moving it like this moving it here and yeah this thing is good okay extrude it toward the z direction scaling it a little to the z but not uh, scaling it zero to the word z one more extrude and now we have to s z and zero to exactly straighten the object like this and just scale it down and try to match it with reference also from this side now so i'm just like scaling this one toward the y direction only and now this one s y and something like this okay so the next step is to create the knee so one more extrude here scale it down also checking from the side view it's fine from the side view and just one more extrude toward the down like this and move it toward here scale it down something like this would be roughly fine and we can import that later. now toward the knees uh, we have to add some details so i am just like control b and beveling these things into two and just one more add loop with the scroll so we add like three loops here so now we can define our shape a little more so i'm just uh, moving this one toward this direction this one should be a little toward the inside and yeah the rest of it is fine and also you can do a little circle shape here so i'm just moving this part a little uh, toward this one 
and double G to just slide this vertex down here double G double G and this is how you can make pretty much good shape. okay this thing is good now now we have to go to the top and just work on the head so what you can do is just select this thing you can store that scale that as you can see I um, accidentally select this vertex also I'm just deselecting that and now doing like selecting only this two and from the front we'll just extrude and move it toward this direction from this side we have to also scale it with the y direction like this and roughly this will be fine now we extrude it toward the up direction scale it like all around like this and also try to match it from the uh, from the front one more extrude see from the side view and now one more extrude here side view and scale it something like this okay this is fine okay as you can see that uh, here as you can see our in the front we have just like uh, a lot of space between the loose but here we have a lot of space so in the three in the character we have to always make sure that our looping distance is like same so i have to just move this thing toward and a little this one so now as you can see we are getting some equal distance in the loops okay so that was what we need now we have to just uh, extrude this thing toward the center so I'm just like uh, selecting the middle one extrude one time and then another time and just uh, filling that thing and now fill this thing select all F fill and this one fill and just select this thing fill and this one fill but now as you can see we get a triangle here that's like uh, I do it to teach you how to remove triangles from your uh, from your topology because the next step is the next rule is uh, to do not have any kind of triangles in the head or especially in the face areas and also in the joints areas so we have to avoid the triangles as you can see here we got a triangle so i have to just remove this now so i'm just selecting these tools and x and uh, dissolving these edges and now what i can do is i can simply select this one k and And now select this one what I scale and click and click and now as you can see we have all the uh, faces are just quads having the four same vertex so now we have to just adjust this area a little more so I'm just like double G moving this one here this one a little here this one here so we have to just uh, we just get a little smoother in there and then select all these loops double G to just slide that and yeah this is this is now quite good so we can now continue this thing uh, also if you uh, want to show the wireframe so i can just go to the uh, overlay and just turn on the wireframe here so it's like uh, in even in the object mode we can see the loops here okay so that's it for the lecture one in the next lecture we will be completing this modeling of bass mesh so thank you so much for watching and i'm like working really hard on this course so if you want to support me please subscribe the channel so stay tuned bye